good evening or good morning, good afternoon, wherever you might be listening to uh, this podcast. I just want to say hello. This is Sabrina Randall, and I am so glad that you have joined me or just decided to listen to this podcast. I have got a lot of things that I want to talk about tonight, and I'm excited about tonight's lesson. Um, God is good. I want to talk about prayer again. We've been talking about prayer for a couple of weeks now. And I want to continue in that same vein, talking about prayer, because it is so important. And everybody is praying today because we're in crisis and and crisis will make you pray if nothing else does. But I want to just um, give you some things that will help your life of prayer. And uh, hopefully that's what you have, a life of prayer and not a prayer life, which means we just pray you know, a lot of times during crisis. So I want to uh, give you some things that uh, will help you as you go through day to day, whether we're in a pandemic or a recession or in, we're wrestling with pre- personal problems, different things. I want to give you some things that you began to do on a regular basis and you began to know what prayer is and not only that, but how important prayer is. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have listed uh, the scriptures in um, the chat. And if uh, you're listening, you can join me live as I do these podcasts and you're able to chat. If you join live, you're able uh, to chat with me and to communicate uh, back and forth and leave comments or whatnot. So I encourage you, if you never have, to join me live. I am live every uh, Thursday at 7 p.m., and that is Central Standard Time. And I do realize for some of you that may be listening in other countries that this is not convenient uh, because that's when you sleep. So uh, you can still listen, uh, as you know, as many of you know, you can still listen uh, to the various podcasts at Spreaker.com. And I do do two different podcasts. I do this one, Sabrina Space. And you can find it at Spreaker.com. That's S-P-R-E-A-K-E-R, Spreaker.com. So you can find Sabrina's Space uh, and the podcast that I'm doing. And I also do another one, The Word with Sabrina. And it's also on Spreaker. You can follow me. And that would be very nice. I would appreciate that at Sabrina Randall Ministries. And that's S-A-B-R-I-N-A, last name R-A-N-D-L-E. So it's a little different way uh, than Randall is generally spelled. But Sabrina Randall Ministries, you can find me on um, Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me uh, at uh, Brina Being Real. That is my website and also where you can find me on Twitter. So now that I have uh, gotten all of the commercials out of the way, let's go ahead and get started tonight. We are, as I said, we're continuing our study on prayer. And I wanted to start in, in the book of Ecclesiastes because I need to just point something out to you tonight before we get uh, involved, very involved in this lesson. So let me give you just a second to... Uh, Go and find your Bible or pull it up on your phone, whichever version you're most comfortable with. I will give you uh, a chance to go and and get that together because we're going to be um, in the New Testament and in the Old Testament and we're going to be all over. So I just want you to join me and um, get yourself a Bible so you'll have something that you can look at as we go through this because we're going to go through quite a bit of scripture, but I'm trying to uh, share something with you tonight uh, about prayer and about some of the things that we do that might cause our prayers not to be answered. I I, I, I need us to be um, um, mature in prayer. And sometimes, you know, I've said this before, but we, we, we start in a relationship with Christ, but it never changes. 
We never grow. And so we need to do that. We, we, we need to do that. And we most certainly need to do that in the areas of prayer so that our prayers are effective. And so our prayers are being answered. And when we intercede and pray for other people, which we're oftentimes asked to do, that, that, that we feel good about it. We feel sincere about what it is we've been asked to do. And we know that we're getting uh, to God. So I'm going to give you just another second more to um, get a Bible or pull it up on your phone. And again, I generally use the King James Version. So it's likely going to read a little different than what you might be reading, but that's okay. I want to say hello to Naomi, my friend from Canada. Hello, Naomi. I'm so glad that you joined me. And my cousin is there, and she is faithful to come in on Thursdays and uh, walk through the scriptures with me. And now there's my sister. She just popped in. So I'm just glad to see uh, that people are popping into the chat, and it just uh, gives me a chance to say hello to you individually. And just to thank you for joining me. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start in the book of Ecclesiastes. In the book of Ecclesiastes, Old Testament, we don't go there a lot. But when we generally go to Ecclesiastes, we go to where I'm about to go tonight. So I'm going to go to the third chapter of the book of Ecclesiastes. And I want to read something. And I want you to just go along with me. So when you get in, or get, in get on on Thursdays, remember to bring a Bible, bring your Bible or pull up your Bible uh, on your phone, whatever you use, if you have an app that you use and bring yourself some paper so that, so that this is an all to the lesson that you get off of the podcast and that you go throughout the week and, and, and you study and you go back over some of the things that I've told you. And I am getting praise reports from people that have joined me that they, that change is abound and, and, and good things are happening and God is doing wonderful things. Uh, uh, through through this podcast. So I, I thank God right now. I'd like to do that right now. And then let's just go into, into our lesson for tonight, the book of Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. I want to read from one down to eight, verses one through eight, because um, this is going to be very, very key in our lesson tonight. So it says to everything, again, I'm reading from the King James Version, of the Bible to everything there is a season and I want you to listen and pay special attention I want you to hear what I'm saying to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven there is a time to be born and there is also a time to die and you might hear me paraphrasing just a bit because it's very important to me that we are in the 21st century and that we are in 2021 and that you get it and that the these and the thou's and all of that kind of thing from the King James version doesn't throw you. So you'll hear me paraphrase a bit because I really want you to be able to get it. So there's a time to be born and we recognize that. And there's a time to die. There is a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. And so that may be a little foreign to us, that whole thing. If we're not farmers and we're not planting things, that means there's a time to uh, uh, invest in some things and that some things are going to come back. So let's look at it that way. If we're not, you know, we don't plant. There is a time to kill and a time to heal. And I taught on this before, and I thought it was kind of strange that killing and healing were in the same sentence and that they had to do with each other. And let me say to you that there is a time that we have to kill out some things in our lives that might be stopping us from healing. We have to, we have to do away with them. So if there's a time for that in our lives, we all will face that at some point in our life, there's a time to break down and then there's a time to build up. There's a time to weep and a time to laugh. And I taught on that. It's important that we understand timing because sometimes when we should be laughing, we're still crying. So there is a time to mourn. And a time that we, we, we're not mourning, but we should be dancing. And are you enjoying your dancing time? And did you recognize it or did it pass you by? Because we're all going to go through these things. 
So there's a time to cast away stones. And then there's a time that we're in a gathering mode and getting things. And get, There's a time to hug, to embrace. And there's a time to stop from doing that because all the time that's not appropriate. We don't get to spend all of our lives hugging and laughing, nor crying, nor killing, nor healing. There are different times in our lives for different things. There's a time to get, it says in six. But there's also a time that we lose. It's a time that we keep things and a time that we we get rid of things. There's a time to tear, to rend, and a time to sow or bring together. A time to keep silent. There's also a time in our life, there are times when we have to speak up to them. There is a time to love. And there's even a time to hate. There is a time of war and a time of peace. And what I have just read for you, I've laid out life. I've laid out life. That, that's life. That you get all of this in a lifetime. Even if you're young. You get... You get things that you need to kill and you need to, that, 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 that would stop you from healing. And there is a time that we love, but there's a time that we hate. There are things that we do as mankind, we ought to hate it. Racism is one that we ought to hate. Child abuse, those are things that we should hate. We should hate that kind of stuff. So what I laid out for you in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, 1 through 8, I laid out life. I laid, I laid out life for you. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8, gives us a snapshot of life. 